speaking entire tips do you have any video where i get the complete tips and tricks the templates the strategies for all the speaking modules for a perfect speaking 90 out of 19 in your pt exam well if you're wondering then trust me today's video is that video wherein i've covered read aloud repeat sentence describe image retell lecture answer short question complete end-to-end -end strategies if you just watch this video know that 90 out of 19 speaking is guaranteed without putting much efforts make sure you watch the video till the end hey everybody Nakul from skills pt academic i really hope everybody is doing fantastic i'm back with that another video today's video is a comprehensive video on the entire speaking module wherein i'll be talking about read aloud repeat sentence describe image read a lecture answer short question all in one in one all in all in just one video with all the strategies before we get into the video if not subscribed to this channel and if you're new to this channel kindly click on the subscribe button and anytime you need online assistance do text us in the whatsapp do whatsapp us any point of time we'll be there i'll be there to help you guide you in the right direction all right without wasting any time let's get straight away into the video let me just share my screen speaking full course end-to-end -end complete strategies today here we go all right speaking overview when you look into the very first module that comes is read aloud read aloud we'll explain what it is contributes marks to reading and speaking both text up to 60 words a small paragraph will be given time to answer will vary depending on the length of the question we will come to this very shortly after read aloud comes repeat sentence they play an audio listen to it and then speak back this integrates with listening and the speaking module prompt length sometimes varies from three seconds a small audio to eight seconds nine seconds as well usually four five seconds time to answer 15 seconds will be given describe image they're going to give you an image the third part and once the image is shown 25 seconds will be given post that you're supposed to start speaking this contributes marks to only speaking there won't be any prompt length up to 40 seconds you can use to speak after describe image comes the retail lecture they're gonna play an audio probably last for 90 seconds sometimes one and a half minute or 40 seconds one hour one minute contributes marks to listening and speaking both because you listen and then you speak time to answer for a second and then comes a dummy module called answer short question they're gonna ask you a question what comes after monday you're gonna put that answer this contributes marks to listening and speaking because you listen and then you speak this is the speaking overview if you are completely new to pt then this is what it is now we will get into each one of them and quickly understand the complete end-to-end -end strategies the very first thing is read aloud they're going to give you a small paragraph and beginning in 40 seconds means right now the mics you have a mic here this mic or the headset mic will be off you can open the mouth and speak whatever you want try out nothing will be recorded after 40 seconds this beginning in 40 seconds will be converted to recording and you will hear a short peep sound then you start speaking and once you finish once you start speaking again some 30 35 second line out i mean the prompt will be given you don't need 30 35 seconds if you follow the strategies that i give you right now it will probably end within 15 17 seconds or 20 seconds once you finish click the next button immediately you cannot go back once you click you will not get another chance to speak for the same question all right so that's all read aloud no that is huge things in the read aloud let's understand more six to seven question comes and trust me if your reading scores need improvement then this is the module speaking module is the base of it which contributes marks to your reading and to listening both not writing 33 to 35 marks from speaking from just read aloud module comes to reading as well as well as speaking so approximately 70 marks will come most important module how you are evaluated the score guide of the pearson says content is five marks fluency is five mark pronunciation is five mark this is what they say but from our experience from our observation it is just this it's mostly 90 percent or let's say 80 percent fluency 20 percent is the content if you focus more on content and pronunciation most probably you will fall down 
on fluency. I'll explain you how to get fluency 5 marks, what is fluency and everything but it is just the fluency that contributes marks over content and pronunciation. And don't worry about pronunciation, I don't have Australian pronunciation, I have 90 speaking, so does all my students. Pronunciation is all about clarity, whatever you speak, software should understand. It's the clarity, everyone's pronunciation is fine, software is um, able to understand Indian accent, definitely yes, but you need to open the mouth. This way people speak, then poor software will not be able to do anything. Hope you are getting it. So it's the fluency, clarity and the content, but fluency is given major priority. We'll talk about it in just a while, but let's talk about the strategies for read aloud. It's very simple if you are able to read perfectly. Astronomy is multifaceted scientific discipline that encompasses the study of celestial objects such as stars, planets, asteroids, comets and galaxies and the physical phenomena that occur within the universe. If you are able to speak like this then well and good, easy peasy, no need to worry at all, you will get 90. But the problem is, what if you are not able to speak like this? You are nervous, you have the fear what if I fumble? See, I told you fluency is the one that contributes marks, but what is fluency? Right now, I'm talking to you in a very fluent way. I'm speaking very, you know, at a very comfortable speed, natural speed. I'm not going fast. I'm not speaking slow. Remember this. I'm not speaking slow. I'm going at a natural speed so that people listen and appreciate. They don't come and saying, oh, you're speaking very slow. You're speaking very fast. No, they understand. The same way here. I'm not fumbling. Uh, the, 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 all those things I'm not doing. And my clarity is good. This is fluency means rhythm. Astronomy is a multifaceted scientific discipline that encompasses the study. You can breathe whenever you want. Don't have to hold the breath and all. Don't mistake the concepts. Don't misunderstand. You can breathe, but the point is don't break the rhythm. Rhythm should be there. That's the fluency. Now to get to that fluency, you can go to any extent. What does it mean? You can skip difficult words. Don't I lose marks towards my reading? No, you don't lose any marks towards your reading. Are you sure? Yes. Don't I lose marks towards my speaking? You don't lose any of the marks towards your speaking as well. Let's say this is all the highlighted yellow ones are difficult for me. Then how do I speak? Astronomy is a scientific discipline that encompasses the study of uh, objects. In this way, if you speak again, the marks will be so low. You have to skip as if the word itself is not there. You skip as if it's just one particular line you're not you know breaking the rhythm hope you are getting it so these are the difficult words so how do i end up speaking in read aloud just wait and watch astronomy is a scientific discipline that encompasses the study of objects such as stars planets comets and galaxies and the physical phenomena that occur within the universe astronomers use a plethora of tools including telescopes and radio antennas to capture and analyze radiation from outer space this is the way to speak you can skip as many words as you want don't skip all the words by the way as many words as you want but when you speak don't fumble that's the technique number one for read aloud technique number two read two lines if you're not confident of reading full let's say you have a lot of problems you're making mistakes. The more I speak, Nakul, more mistakes I make. Instead of just one line, a lot of people tell you to speak just one line, which I don't suggest. Um, because one line, let's say till here, you spoke and you made a lot of mistakes. Software, first of all, you're giving very limited data. On top of that, you skipped three words, you made a lot of mistakes. Marks will completely go down. If you're not able to speak full, at least speak two lines, something of this content, 50% content. Astronomy is a multifaceted scientific discipline that encompasses the study of celestial objects such as stars, planets, asteroids, comets and galaxies and the physical phenomena that occur within the universe. Click next. Can I do this? Yes. If I'm speaking two lines, can I skip few of the content? Yes, you can skip. Should not be a big problem. But if you're speaking just one line, then you cannot skip any of the content. Remember this. So that's the reason. Avoid speaking one line. Speak one line only if you're very confident of read aloud. Otherwise, don't. Speak full. I'm telling you for everybody, speak full. In the worst case, if you really want to speak less, then speak half. Don't just speak a very small line. That's the strategy number two. Let's quickly move on to the strategy number three. Don't have to give preference to S sounds. Don't have to give preference to S sounds. So what people end up doing a lot many times. See here objects, encompasses, planets, asteroids, comets. 
So what they think, oh, I have to pronounce them very, very clearly for the software to understand. Otherwise, my content marks will go down. So what people end up doing? Astronomy is a multifaceted scientific discipline that encompasses the study of celestial objects such as stars, planets. So they start stressing on the words which is not required, which you wouldn't do in the real life. Yes or no? Yes or no? So here as well, don't have to worry about the sounds. You give that exaggeration, then marks will go down because you're stressing the words. You're breaking the fluency. Right now, I'm just speaking. Am I giving any stress on the S words? No. The same way, you just have to speak scientific discipline that encompasses the study of celestial objects such as stars, planets, asteroids, comets and galaxies. Just speak. It's okay if S is not covered, but don't intentionally try to cover it. All this will trickle your scores down. As a newbie, what we think? Oh, we need to speak every word clearly. That's what the mistake I did in my first attempt. I got 53 speaking. In the last attempt, fourth attempt, I got 90 overall because I was just being natural. That's the strategy number three. Fourth one, when not sure of how to speak, either skip the word or speak in your own way. Some words, I'm not sure. This one, I don't know. You can skip the word. Astronomy is a scientific discipline that encompasses the study of objects. But sometimes you will not be in a position to skip. You, you know, sometimes misinterpret and speak. It's okay, you speak in your own way. Let's say you spoke this word as multi-phase. No problem. Astronomy is a multi-phase scientific discipline that encompasses. Perfectly fine if you mispronounce, but don't let the computer know that you mispronounced. Meaning, astronomy is a multi-faceted. Mul mul All these things I don't do, boss. Boss, hope you're getting it. You can speak wrong, but continue. Don't pause a comeback, uh, correcting it. All those will let the software know that you're not comfortable with it. So, ideas very simple. You can speak a different in a different way, but don't pause, don't fumble. Let's say celestial, I'm not sure. Well, I'll say celeste. Astronomy is a multi-phase scientific discipline that encompasses the study of celeste objects. Is it fine? Yes. Speak very clearly. Even if you speak wrong, it's okay. Don't break the rhythm. People make this mistake, but they try to speak the word correctly. As a result, they end up making a lot of fumbling. Fluency completely gone. Case. Don't focus much on the content. Fifth one, pitch issues. This is a major problem for a lot of people. Not ladies, usually men will fall under this category. Some people's voice is very thick. You can download voice pitch analyzer application if you're using an Android phone or I've written their voice tools if you're using an iPhone. You can click record and speak and see the graph. It should be above 130 for a guy. If it's 80, 90, market research is a very, it's very thick voice. <coughs> if you have such a thick voice, then trust me, the marks will not be that accurate as you expect. The marks may go down. So for this, what has to be done? Use the pitch app and try to thin the tone. Thinner the tone, higher the pitch. Market research is a vital part of the, not like a girl, little like a girl. When you modify it, control your voice, marks will go up. This is not for everybody. My speaking is 50, I think I have pitch problem. No, 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 you may not. You have actual other problems. This is, let's say I have tried all the things that I have asked you to and still the marks is not going up, then check. If it is 120, 125 also, it's fine. If it is 90, 100, that will be a problem. For ladies, usually the problem will not be there unless your voice is very, very thin. 350 pitch, then you will have trouble. You have to reduce the pitch. You have to thicken it and speak. Use this pitch. For a ladies, maintain below 300, 250, 220, 180, 170 is also fine. For a guy, strictly above 130, below 170. This is the thing you maintain in the worst case. If your scores are not going up, then this also can be a problem. You need more assistance. You can join our course. It's a paid assistance. We will fix whatever the problem you are associated with. So the perfect way to speak in the read aloud, I'm going to show you. I'm not prepared. Trust me, I have not prepared. I'm just speaking because content is of least preference. <coughs> Let's start. Time, that elusive and intangible force, weaves the fabric of existence itself. It is both a relentless march forward and a fluid concept, bending and warping in the hands of perception. Like a reverse current, it carries us from one moment to the next, sweeping away the past and propelling us into the dead, 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 dead into the future. I'm not giving intonations time, that elusive and intangible force, I'm not speaking that. Many people, especially girls, will speak this way. They don't have a clue as to why the scores go down. You would be assuming, yeah, I'm following everything you told. My marks is not going up because you're singing, you're not 
speaking in a perfect way the many things that way so if you are not able to absorb the content here you can join our course we will guide you in a right way but many people don't need a course who are smart enough to you know grasp by information can get 90 you can see the comments below for many of the videos many have texted i've got 90 just by watching your videos but if you're not able to then trust me you may need a course all right so summary of the techniques first is you should speak fluently without any ups and downs any singing thing intonation no stresses don't stress the words just be natural like the way i'm talking to you right now am i stressing the words no am i emphasizing the words no Make sure you don't fumble, uh, b b b not even one. Once or twice you fumble, three, four marks you would lose. Ten times I fumble, 50, 55. Trust me on this. They've taken this fumbling part very, very seriously. All right. Give natural pauses for comma full stop. Don't have to rush. Don't have to hold your breath and go very fast. Correct. You can go at a natural speed. You can go at a very natural speed and then pronunciation and content doesn't matter. Pronunciation is all about clarity. Give that clarity the software wants. Content is not a priority. You can skip as many difficult words as you wish. Read with all the confidence, with a smiling face. Confidence drives uh, the better marks. Correct? If you show the nervousness, things will not fall in place. Keep smiling and have that beautiful smile of yours spreading across and just speak. Skip the difficult words like I told you and don't go very fast. Some people go very fast because their friends have told them you speak fast, you'll get 90. Reading marks will go down. Don't speak very fast and don't go slow as well. Market research is a vital part. You don't get the marks. Use natural speed like I've been speaking all the way through. Open the mouth and speak. Some people market research is a vital part of the play. Open, open. Market research is a. Some people don't speak the words clearly. Market research, research, research. Every word speak clearly. Don't be in a hurry. Things will actually fall in place. Let's quickly move on to the repeat sentence. Repeat sentence. Ten to twelve questions. Welcome. This is a tricky module. This contributes thirty marks towards your speaking. 30 marks towards your listening most important module and it's not that easy as read aloud something like this uh, will be shown it says beginning in three seconds after three seconds this audio will begin you listen to an audio that means let's say audio played for six seconds this beginning in eight seconds becomes beginning in two seconds after six seconds right hope you're getting it audio is not played at and the downward is for your mic up one, the top one is for the audio speak, speaker. So once the audio starts, this will, 8 seconds will come to 7 seconds, 6 seconds. So the audio played for let's say 6 seconds, this becomes 2 seconds. So once the audio ends, the mic will not be on. You have to speak once you see the recording, pay more attention. It's very, very important. Here you have to see recording then only you should start speaking this recording will not be recording this recording word will not be displayed immediately after the audio ends once the audio ends at least one second at least or close to two seconds delay will be there if you start immediately speaking nothing will be recorded hope you're getting it so you have to wait and um, unfortunately there is no beep sound in repeat sentence so you would not even know so don't close the eyes and listen and just speak you can close the eyes and listen but when you speak open the eyes and see your recording then start speaking this is the most important um, criteria we will move on to the evaluation part how you are evaluated same thing right content pronunciation fluency but here there pearson had written fluency phi content phi pronunciation phi but what gives marks is fluency here they have written fluency phi content three pronunciation phi but what gives marks it's the fluency but content they themselves have written if 100 percent content matches let's say the repeat sentence audio 10 words are there and you spoke every 10 word correctly with a very good clarity software will give you three out of three for content and for that three out of three for content if you are very fluent and clarity wise you're good you will get five out of five fluency five out of five pronunciation this five plus five plus three thirteen marks is for one repeat sentence which will be converted to three mark in the end so one repeat sentence is three mark ten repeat sentence thirty marks if you speak hundred percent well and good we don't need any strategies because you are capable of speaking hundred percent content
But the problem is what if you're not able to speak 100% content? That's where the real thing starts, correct? So only 50% is matching. 10 words out of which five to six words you're able to speak fluently. Then you don't get zero, you get two out of three for content. For this two out of three, if you're fluent, you get five out of five fluency, five out of five pronunciation. Five plus five plus two, 12 out of 13. If 13 is converted to three, the 12 will be 2.8 is 3 only. So even if you speak 50-60%, you still end up getting full marks towards your repeat sentence. This is a catch. But you need to be fluent. You cannot fumble. Hope you're getting it. Less than 50%, they're saying 1 out of 3. No, you almost end up getting 0 only for the entire repeat sentence, for that repeat sentence. If there are 10 words, don't stick to 5 words. Some of the words whatever you speak may not be clear software may not be able to interpret clearly always go one step ahead and speak at least 60 percent that i always suggest to all my students 10 questions 10 audios six audios will be simple you speak 100 percent the remaining four will be little lengthy that you speak less not 50 percent at least 60 percent to be on the safer side but when you speak speak fluently okay let's see the strategy number one repeat sentence speak 60 percent but fluently let's listen to this very very clearly people decorate their homes in ways that suit their taste and needs people decorate their homes in ways that suits their needs i am very fluent i spoke 100 percent correctly i'll get full marks but but i can still speak less and get full marks that's exactly what i'm talking about listen carefully People decorate their homes in ways that suit their taste and needs. People decorate their homes, suit their taste and needs. I missed few words in the middle. That's totally fine. So what exactly I'm doing? I'm listening in parts. Listen to it carefully and just pause the audio after each part. People decorate their homes. First part, I'll listen. In ways that suit their taste. That suit their taste. People decorate their homes that suit their taste. Click next. Full mark you'll get. So what I'm basically doing. I'm not listening to full audio. Pay more attention. This is the trick. You listen to full audio. All the 10 words are sitting here full jumbled up. You cannot. It has become a good Indian snack. You cannot speak 60%. The idea is fill less. Whatever is here will come out. Remember this. If everything is here, it will come out in a different way. If only six words are here, it will come out six words correctly. Listen less, speak less, that's the whole point here. And when you speak, if you fumble, you get zero mark. Repeat, I repeat, listen to it carefully. I'll just play the audio again and show you a way wherein I speak everything correctly, but still I get zero out of three. People decorate their homes in ways that suit their taste and needs. People decorate their homes in ways that suits their taste and needs. It would be zero. You fumbled a lot. Did the audio with the, they played? Did the person, did that lady fumble? No. She finished in three seconds. India have taken eight seconds. So obviously the fluency gone case. Be very careful. It's all the fluency, not the content. Every day when you practice, practice for fluency, not for the content, not for the content, not for the content. Remember this. That's the technique number one. The technique number two, never fumble or hesitate. Don't worry about the content. That's exactly what I just been telling you. Earth is a special spot in the... Very sorry, I'll play the audio again. Earth is a special spot in the solar system for so many reasons. Earth has a special spot for so many reasons. I'll get full marks. Earth has a special spot in the solar system. I missed. But if you fumble... Earth is a special spot in the solar system for so many reasons. Earth has a, sp a sp special spot in the s solar system for s so, so many reasons. This would be zero. This would be zero. So idea is very simple. Be very calm. man. You should have a good clarity on what you speak. And this, you should keep it stable, intact. Don't rush. Just take a deep breath before you start listening. Listen, just execute it the way it demands. Right now I'm talking in a very calm way. Don't have to increase your blood pressure and anxiety and all those things. Correct? Will you ever get 100 uh, crore USD if you become anxious? If you fumble, no, then why are you doing it? A lot of people do this. The reason is this is not stable. You have to just keep it as stable as possible. All right. Uh, we will have some practice sessions now i'll play the audio i'll show you how to how i speak the repeat sentence by the way i don't i have not listened to these three the previous two I had listened these three I have not listened let me just give it a good shot 
Although all birds have wings, a few species can't fly. Although all birds have wings, few species can't fly. A clownfish is bright orange in color with three white stripes. A clownfish is bright orange in color with three stripes. Three white stripes, I said three stripes, no problem, I was continuous, I'll get full marks. Balanced nutrition and regular exercise contribute to overall well-being. Balanced nutrition and regular exercise contributes to well-being. Overall well-being I missed or I could have said balanced nutrition and I missed the word. I'll just speak again. Balanced nutrition and regular exercise contribute to overall well-being. Balanced nutrition contribute to well-being. I still will get full mark. Trust me on this. You listen in parts. Well, if you can speak 10 to 12 words, then listen entirely and speak. You don't need any shortcuts. But problem is everyone is not like that. Some people need shortcuts. For them, I'm telling you, don't listen full, listen in parts. Finish it off. Hope it is clear. Let's quickly move on to repeat sentence summary. Contributes 30 marks to listening and speaking. Most important module, approximately 60 marks it comes. It contributes towards your um, total PT score. Repeat at least 60% of the content with all the fluency. Don't forget the fluency part. Do not fumble or give extra pauses. Whatever, wherever the speaker give a pause, you can if you want. Otherwise, you are not supposed to give extra pauses. Maintain the speed of the speaker and the pauses, if possible. Enhance your listening scores. Do not try to speak everything. This is the golden tip <coughs> that I always tell my students. Do not try to speak everything. People think, I speak everything, I get more marks. You try to speak everything, you get less marks because you fumble. Correct? So, try to speak whatever you can means listen less and try to speak less things will actually fall in place hope it is clear now we will quickly move on to the describe image the third one very easy module four to six questions will come eight to ten marks to speaking not 90 remember this this is a low priority module an image will be given something like this and they'll give you 25 seconds to look into the image beginning in 25 seconds 125 seconds once 25 second is over you're supposed to start speaking 40 second will be given how long do i need to speak 20 second is enough this is not a priority module how to speak everything we will just talk uh, the image can be a bar graph something like this a line graph fish picture my face also they can give anything it doesn't matter for all the question the strategy remains the same Evaluation, it's fluency 5, pronunciation 5, content 5, they will say like that. <laughs> Even when I bought this Samsung Galaxy S22 phone, they have told a lot many things. Now, whenever I sometimes open WhatsApp, it will not even open WhatsApp. So, it's okay. People tell to market it, right? So, they have been telling 5 fluency, 5 pronunciation content. It is only this. <clears throat> if you are fluent, you will get marks. Content is not a priority. Not about priority, it doesn't give any marks. Why we will talk about in just a while. Strategy give preference to the fluency alone. Not on the content, not on the keyword. Definitely is not on the pronunciation. The misconception, if I give more keywords, I get more marks. That's how our psychology works. Isn't it so? Let's say this. This image talks about percentage of people who smoke in different cities such as London, Delhi, Sydney and Tokyo. From the picture, it is clear that London stays at uh, perhaps 10% by being Delhi at uh, 45%. Sydney, the percentage of people who smoke would be very less compared to other things, but Tokyo is a um, little high. With this, we can conclude that London and Sydney will have a safest place uh, for non-smokers compared to Delhi and Tokyo. If I speak like this, I get more marks. You get more marks, but even if you don't speak these keywords, you will get the same more marks. This image talks about beautiful information. I have been given 25 seconds to speak about this picture. Anything also you can speak and get the same marks. What gives you mark is not the content. Our psychology thinks it's the content that the maximum minimum. No, it is just the fluency. Why we will talk, but yes, what is fluency? Whatever the way you spoke in the read aloud, the same way you're supposed to speak in describe image. No fumble, no hesitation, no intonation. Pitch should not be a problem. No fast, no slow, natural speech should be there. The hidden secret, an image can speak thousand things. If I ask 20 people to look at the image and speak, all 20 will speak differently. But not in read aloud. All 20 have to speak the same. Their content matters to some extent. Here, no. A software cannot 
possibly compare all the 20 people's answer, all the 1000 people's answers, isn't it? Because everyone is right in their own way. So, it is impossible to judge whether you are speaking correctly or not. So, keyword is not given any preference here. You can trust me on this, it is the fluency alone. So, how to concentrate less on the keywords and more on the fluency? You need a template. A lot of people have different templates, you can use any of the template, but avoid using those templates where you need to put in lot of keywords. When you try to put the keyword while speaking, you need to look at the image and then put the keywords, you may fumble, you may make mistakes. Use this template, working, it will work forever. The given image represents represents us to come, the grammar, gamer doesn't matter in speaking, you just have to speak. The given image represents a beautiful image. There must have been a popular debate about the information present in the image for the keywords, keyword 1 and keyword 2. However, information present for keyword 3 and keyword 4 seems to be false. From the image, it is clear that maximum value seems to be constant which further states the importance of the topic present in the image. In conclusion, the given image includes a complicated data and then that 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 analysis with all the sufficient data. The way I spoke in the read aloud I did with four keywords. How to find keywords? Anything from the image. Look at this image. 40 percent, 20 percent, 20 percent, 20 percent could be four keywords or safari, chrome, blue, orange, enough. Anything, it does not matter. Whether you miss this also, it does not matter. Now, you can speak, there must have been a popular debate about the information present in the image for the keyword safari and chrome. However, information present for blue and orange seems to be false. From the image, again generic answer. Can we use this? Definitely yes. Do not worry about the keywords. You can write green, orange, blue, blue, red or you can write yellow, black, white, pink, does not matter. Hope you are understanding. I will not be able to reveal everything here, but whatever I have given, I think you got a hint. Content is not a priority. For this, four keywords I need. So, I am considering Delhi, London, Sydney and smoke. I will put this London and Delhi in keyword 1, keyword 2, Sydney and smoke in the keyword 3, keyword 4. There must have been a popular debate about the information present in the image for the London and Delhi. However, information present for Sydney and smoke seems to be false. Now, cool, it is nonsensical, it is not making any sense for us because we have this brain. How about the software? Think about it. I will not be able to tell more, but yes, this is a low priority module. Also know that hardly contributes 10 marks and not more than that. Fish picture it comes, then I am going to use orange, fins, curvy tail, fish or anything. Just put orange and fins in the keyword 1, keyword 2. Curvy tail and fish in the keyword 3, keyword 4. Done and tested. Is it really difficult? No, you just have to memorize the template. Do not try to memorize, you forget. Every day speak once. Tenth day it will be in your mouth forever, it will not be forgotten. That is how I learnt the template. Every day speak once for 25 seconds. Speak for, this will take you 25 seconds, finish it, click next, finish it off. Speaking and listening, retail lecture is the fourth one, the fourth module called retail lecture, not a priority. Priority is the read aloud, repeat sentence. Those two are the priority. These two, well, you cannot neglect them for the fact it contributes some percentage of the marks, 10 10 percent or 8 percent. One or two questions will come, 8 to 10 marks to speaking, 8 to 10 marks to listening, depending on the number of questions. Still not a priority, but it contributes marks to listening, an important module still. Something like this will be given. You will hear a lecture. Lecture will be played for probably 40 seconds, 30 seconds, 90 seconds. It depends on that day, <laughs> on that day how lucky you are. Uh, once the audio ends here, it says beginning in a 10 seconds. That means 10 seconds will be given for you to prepare. While the audio plays, you can take some notes. You cannot type the, you know, the console will not be open for typing. It will be opened only in the listening writing not in speaking and reading. Here you would have given a booklet, an erasable notebook and a marker. You can take some notes and once the audio ends, 10 seconds, just have a look at it, prepare well and then start speaking. When you speak, 40 seconds will be given for you to speak. Do not have to speak for 40 seconds, 25 to 25, 30 seconds is more than enough. Do not speak for 10 seconds, 15 seconds, you will lose marks towards your listening. What is the strategy? Very simple here, two skills are involved. Yeah listening and when you listen what you do you write when you listen and when you write at the same time a brain cannot take two things at once know this these are the real things your brain cannot take two things you cannot speak and eat at the same time 
common sense. So here what a newbie will end up doing, he will be listening and writing at the same time completely messes it up. Remember here as well content is not a priority, it is the fluency. But content you cannot neglect, give some percentage, let's say 30-40 percentage. How to do it? Very simple. When you listen, don't write. Okay, I'm listening for five seconds. I listened. Now I know what to write. I will write for five seconds. When I write, I will miss the audio. I don't care. There is no important keyword. There is no summary of it. Whatever you want, you write. But from the audio, when you listen for five seconds, just listen. Don't write. After that, you write for five seconds. When you write, don't listen. Listen for five seconds. Write for five seconds. Listen for five seconds. Write for five seconds. Listen for five seconds. Write for five seconds. This way, do it four or five times. Four or five small, small phrases will be written and that you speak. I... I don't suggest people to write just the keywords. In uh, one of the observations that I did, a student took 35 keywords and spoke. The score was 34 overall, the speaking. So <laughs> this will break all the fluency. My suggestion is always to go with small phrases. One phrase is three, four words. I'll show you how to do it. Write four to five or four to seven, four to eight, four to six, as many as you want small phrases instead of keywords. Use the template that I'm about to unveil and just speak like read aloud. In the read aloud, how do you speak? Whatever is there you speak, right? Here also, whatever is there you speak. Don't correct the grammar. Don't have to fumble. Don't do anything. Even if you speak wrong, it's totally fine. You are supposed to just speak. I'll show you how to do that, everything. So this is the template. The lecture gives the important key points and relevant information about in the beginning the speaker explained about later speaker mentioned about the importance of here the speaker was ideally pointing at the fact that in conclusion the lecture gives the important key points about here if I write one word one word one word one word one word will I get good marks speaking 90 listening out of 8 to 10 probably some 3 4 marks you may lose. So I suggest it's definitely possible to write a small phrase write small phrases here. If possible, two phrases, otherwise one is also fine, um, so that you get good marks. So now I'll show you a small demonstration on how to do it. Note taking is the major thing here and if you learn that, uh, speaking is very easy. Alright, I'm going to play the audio, I've made the setup ready, I have the MS Word on the right hand side, I'm just playing the audio. I listen for five seconds, write for five seconds. Don, what are you doing with all that candy? Oh, great. Now I'm going to have to find some place else to hide my stash of goodies. You just can't trust anyone these days. Now, if that isn't the pot calling the kettle black... What are you implying? What are you implying? Well, I will write... Did you know that in several laboratory experiments, scrub jays, relatives of the blue jay... Scrub jay, relative of blue jay. I'm not, really, I'm not listening now. Jays scrub jays... In relatives fact, of jay blue visible, jays i'll start jay listening buried its food the first jay was more likely to dig up the food later and rebury it in difficult sentence i'll wait so what does that have to do with my candy well it shows that some birds are capable of more complicated behavior some birds are capable of more complicated behavior i can write are birds are food from each capable so of more cautiously when other scrub jays are complicated present, might mean that they're able to speculate about the future behavior of their observers. able to speculate birds the future behavior they are able to speculate the so you're arguing something like future it takes one to know one it takes exactly. one to know one. In it fact, takes one to know one. Some scrub jays to dig up another jay's food after seeing where it was buried. The birds allowed to steal were more likely to rebury their own food later. Rebury their own food later. Rebury their own food later. Hey, this is enough, man. So many things. One. Well, I am missing some peanut. One, two, three, four, five, six sentences are more than enough. Hope you are getting it. See, I'm not taking any pressure. I'm writing it very slow. I did not rush because I'm following the right approach. So now I have to speak. The lecture gives the important key points and the relevant information about to hide my stash of goodies and what are you implying. In the beginning, the speaker explained about scrub jays, relatives of blue jays. Later, speaker mentioned about the importance of birds are capable of more complicated behavior. Here, the speaker was ideally pointing at the fact that they are able to speculate the future behavior. It takes one to know one, rebury their own food later. The lecture gives the, in sorry, in conclusion, sorry, that 
In conclusion, the lecture gives the important key points about to hide my stash of goodies. The idea is very simple. Whatever is there, I am speaking. The last one, I am again speaking with the first one. Last one, you can again speak the same thing also. It doesn't matter. But finish this. Hold on. Where people go wrong, they will write this. That means they probably will not write a grammatically correct sentence. Let's say this is what you have written where grammar is missing and what you try to do. The lecture gives the important key points and the relevant information about to hide my stash um, of no you try to correct it marks gone no marks for grammar it is speaking. It is the fluency. I told you in the very beginning a beautiful technique, a very important technique. Speak like read aloud. In the read aloud, do you correct it? No. The lecture gives the important key points and the relevant information about to hide my stash goodies. In the beginning, the speaker explained about what you implying scrub jays relatives of blue jays. Let a speaker mention about the importance of birds capable more complicated behavior. They are able to speculate the future. Be whatever is there I am reading. Don't try to correct it. Don't try to understand. You understand. You try to make sense. Gone case. These are all the real things. So quickly we will understand um, one more thing. Hold on there. Worst case scenario, I have written this. Worst case scenario. You have written only two small phrases. What am I supposed to do? Listening definitely one or two marks you would lose. But don't let that cost you the speaking marks as well, right? Repeat the points. What I mean is this will happen sometimes. You may not be in a good condition to write more phrases. Audio will be less. This is what you have written. The lecture gives the important key points and the relevant information about to hide my stash of goodies. In the beginning, the speaker explained about what are you implying. Let a speaker mention about the importance of to hide my stash of goodies and what are you implying. Here, the speaker was ideally pointing at the fact that to hide my stash of goodies and what are you implying. In conclusion, the lecture gives the important key points about to hide my stash of goodies and what are you implying. I will get 90 speakers. I can write on any bond paper. Listening, perhaps you may lose one or two marks for the content for sure. Hope you are getting it. We have one more question before we end. We will just take repeat retail lecture one more question for the practice. Hold on, I'm gonna start. During the time of the Aztecs, cocoa was mainly used as a beverage. Cocoa was Lines used as a beverage. From white pulp around the seeds of the cocoa pod. The beans themselves were used to I'm make not listening. cold chocolate drinks. Both the Maya and the Aztec secular drinks use roasted cocoa beans, a foaming agent sugar, toasted corn, and water. Vanilla and or chili were also used as an ingredient in the drinks. Cocoa they also used, used as an ingredient in the juice. They also used as an ingredient. The chocolate drink cocoa butter was used to protect skin against the sun. For the Aztecs, cocoa to protect against the sun probably. Cocoa was believed to be of divine origin. The cocoa tree cocoa was, was believed to be a divine origin. Human sacrifices to appreciate God or believed to be divine origin. Cocoa beans were given to priests' assistants at children's coming of age ceremonies. During marriage ceremonies, the couples drank a symbolic cup of chocolate and exchanged cocoa beans. They believed that drinking chocolate gave mortals some of Kezcacoto wisdom, God of learning and the wind. God of learning and the wind. The words were difficult. So, intentionally, I have chosen this where I was not able to lie more. I missed the last word, God of Learning. I'll just play the last one because I had read, I was about to write that. Give mortal sum of Kezcacoto wisdom, God of Learning and the wind. And the wind. It's okay. I've written less, but this is enough. Five phrases was more than enough. Trust me, the audio was tricky. A lot of words were not clearer. Even I was trying so hard. I don't have headphones, by the way. I was trying so hard to understand. But still, I managed to write whatever I can. Now, the only thing that is left is I have to manage to speak well. The lecture gives the important key points and the relevant information about cocoa was used as a beverage. In the beginning, the speaker explained about they were also used as an ingredient. Later, speaker mentioned about the importance of to protect against the sun. Here, the speaker was ideally pointing at the fact that cocoa was beloved, believed to be of divine origin, god of learning and the wind. In conclusion, the lecture gives the important key points about cocoa was used as a beverage. One mistake I did, will it cost a lot of marks? May not be. Because all the while I wouldn't have made any mistake. One here and there, it's fine. But if you repeatedly make, then definitely marks will go down. Hope you're understanding. This is all about the retail lecture. Let's talk about the summary of retail lecture. There should not be any fumbling. Same as whatever we did for 
the read aloud no hesitation no up and down pitch issues needs to be fixed normal speed listen and then write don't listen and write at the same time write phrases instead of keywords remember this remember this remember this keywords may not give you very good score but phrases will definitely do when you have less phrases just repeat the template that's the best strategy with this we will move on to the last part a dummy part answer short questions five to eight questions will be there max one mark or two it may contribute to listening and speaking even if you skip this you will get 90 we have tried that not a priority something like this will be there uh, the play an audio and then once this says recording beep sound will be there then you start speaking once done click the next button immediately um, they're gonna ask you a question speak the answer if you know otherwise repeat the question it's not a priority you can say i don't know the answer and click next what kind of questions any kind of questions can come simple ones probably they will ask you what comes after sunday <laughs> or they probably they can ask you who is an ophthalmologist it's okay if you know the answer you tell don't have to pay someone for the repeated questions it's all waste of time okay the strategy is very simple if you know the answer you tell the answer what comes after monday tuesday i don't know the answer who is ophthalmologist i don't know what can i do let's say you know a little bit about it you know it's an eye surgeon you can say eye surgeon exact answer let's say you know let's say you don't know it's an eye surgeon but you know that this person is a doctor something related to it then you can say doctor you'll get marks you have to i don't know anything you can say i don't know about it or else in the worst case repeat the question don't have to prepare don't have to practice a lot use your existing knowledge you know the answer you tell the answer you don't know the answer repeat the question or say something related to it you have four answers in the mind i don't know which one to speak all four you speak the answer is not required just speak the answer hope it is clear guys i really hope um, i produce this comprehensive content to help you understand more about pt speaking everything in one go this is the video if you want to score that 90 and want to have all the tips and tricks practice things in one video i really hope you like the video if you like the video give it a precision with a thumbs up it really makes our day it uh, means a lot and it also acts as a motivator because a lot of people are involved here a lot of effort to make a content a lot of things anytime you need online assistance do text us in the whatsapp and do leave a comment as to how you felt about the video and what videos you want me to make next soon i will be back nakul will be back from skills pt academic uh, till then take care bye bye thanks much